Hi, welcome back to my channel. Here's Bruce resting. He has been under the weather, um, but we took him to the vet on Saturday and he is back on a treatment plan for his ear. And I don't know if I mentioned some body spots that he had, what I called his age spots, but he's got two more on this side. So, okay, Bruce. You may hear a lot of noise outside. It is after one, uh, Monday afternoon. It was really cloudy this morning, so I couldn't film anything. Uh, I do have my front door open, which is in that direction. The ticking that you hear is the Haunted Mansion clock from Disneyland. And um, so the flip through I'm going to do for the month of March is in my Hobonichi Cousin and my Hobonichi Weeks. So let's start off with the Weeks where I would keep track of, um, you know, my daily um, chores and, and plans. So this is the monthly layout, and I wasn't shy with the stickers. So this is December, January. Yeah, this is February. This was March. And I uh, had doctor's appointments as well as Bruce's vet appointments. This is for this month. And as you can see, we've got a lot of appointments set up for himself and for me. Um, my friend passed away. My best friend passed away. Uh, which is another reason why I didn't um, film anything. And then this is for next month. My husband's going on a fishing trip. And so let me just show you a couple of the pages of how I was using the week's. Uh, not shy with the stickers or the washi. Keeping track of my weight and my steps. And I was trying to use up all my stickers and washi. So this is what it kind of looks like. Or what it did look like. And then there was a point in time where I stopped using it. Because um, things were getting kind of a little hectic in my life. And so um, stopped keeping up. Even though I had the best intentions with, uh, you know, putting down the washi, setting up my weight and steps, and then having the intention of, you know, filling it in during the week. And then um, just kind of fell off the wagon and, and didn't. And then right about this time is when I decided to uh, go back to tracking my meals, weight, step, and exercise. Because, um, yeah, I think I had just gotten back from my appointment and I needed a get back on a plan because uh, my results weren't so great so I did this for about a week or so and then again I stopped here because it's right about this time where my um, best friend's brother called me and told me that she had died unexpectedly and so it, it really um, really threw me for a loop so didn't do anything here try to keep up to keep myself busy and again best intentions didn't didn't work out and then uh, right about this time frame too I was gnawing on his bones so I do apologize for that so this is for this week and since Bruce and I have appointments uh, I decided to bring it back to my everyday planner kind of thing so I can keep track of um our appointments because my my husband also work on weekends and so I need to make sure that our appointments don't coincide with his work appointments um, so wait steps so now I'm not keeping track of my meals and uh, instead I'm just keeping track of my chores and then again back to my exercises here so this is my weeks and then here's my cousin um, yeah so let me show you what I did for, let's see, the weekly layouts. Let me show you that. So this is for this week. Is it in my frame? So this is uh, this week. So I need to get started on filling this part in since we're again one about one after one. He has his appointment and then I have my appointment on Sunday. So I need to put my sticker in. This is for last week. I need to fill in Sunday. And then Bruce had his appointment on Saturday. So you can see how I was using it, uh, using the vertical columns. 
But before that, I decided to do this sort of a layout, washi on the top, and then I used a marker to break up uh, the pages. So I had certain boxes, and then I made out my day using stickers. So I did that for a few weeks. And it was just a nice change up for me uh, to try to get back in here uh, using it. So this was February, so yeah. Okay, so now let's take you, I'm gonna take you to the end of, or actually let's go to the beginning of March. Anyway, so these are daily uh, calendar pages that I rip out from the far side. And so I, I tape it in. And then so these are photos. This is my garden. There's a trellis here, which I don't think you can see. These are uh, purple snow peas. It's the flower. And then my intent is to go back eventually and fill it in since the photos are pretty self-explanatory of what happened that day. So I have an idea of what I wanna write. This is my plum tree. It's a four in one plum and it's finally um, giving me a lot of flowers this year. This is um, butterfly weed seeds that I started last year and they're finally coming back. This is Bruce asleep and then the cat, the neighborhood cat right here is asleep. This is the hospital facility I went to go visit. It's the first time I've ever been there and it was really pretty. Uh, so I decided to take a photo. My sister's Amaryllis. There's the cat, Bruce. Here's me and Bruce I'm behind the pretzel. This is my uh, Monstera elbow. So I decided to take a picture of it because I am trying to propagate a piece for my sister. And um, this is a, a cat that my niece found in the park. And my sister went and took it home to try to find its owner. And I just thought it was a really cute cat. So, but this eyes squinted like that. Um, so because uh, my friend brother had called me um, and there was a lot of things I wanted to say, I wrote it on a piece of paper and um, I taped it up and I put it in here because it's not something I want to talk about with anybody except for her, but she's gone. Uh, so it's just sort of like a letter to her from me. More pictures of Bruce. Uh, this is a, I think it's a citrus. It is a citrus. It's something that my mom started from seed a number of years ago and I kept the tree. It's right here, it's still in a pot. And um, I gave it some Epsom salt a couple of days ago from this, you know, when I took the photo, so on the 12th. Um, and it gave me flowers, you know, a few days after it absorbed the uh, Epsom salt when I fed it. And anyways, um, so this is the first time it's bloomed for me since I've had the plant. And I think I've had the plant for, wow, two or three years maybe. So I'm keeping track of the flower. This is my avocado. Uh, this is the plant that my husband bought for me and it finally um, started to grow a new leaf. This is a Phalaenopsis orchid or a moth orchid. Um, my husband bought for me and it finally rebloomed and so I took a picture of that. So this is my best friend who passed away. Um, another note for her. So, um, spider plant. I think this is some kind of, um, I wanna say it's a daisy, but it's not a daisy. Painted daisy maybe from my sister's garden. Um, Bruce and the cat. Uh, another orchid. This is a sunflower that um, planted itself. It seeded itself in the back. So I took its picture. Uh, bees seem to really like it. 
Here's another photo of Bruce and Earl. And then here's another letter um, for my friend. So again, I wrote down my thoughts, um, just things that I would talk to her about. And um, again, sealed it and then slipped it in. I put little pieces of tape on the edge of the photo so that I could kind of slide it in like this. And that way it won't fall out and I won't lose it. And I found doing this really helped um, process, I guess, the grief. There's a cat outside. Another picture of my garden. This was a um, Japanese place we decided to try. So I took the pictures of the food. And then underneath this is um, pictures of my family, so I won't flip that. Here's a picture of my sister's stray cat. And then there's the other cat. There's myself and my husband when we went out to eat. Uh, I had a doctor's appointment on this day. And so then afterwards we decided to go out and eat. Not necessarily because of the results that I received, but um, it was actually one of the first times that we've actually been out, specifically in a restaurant, you know, since COVID started. And so my sister's cat, cat, Bruce. This was dim sum that my sister, sister picked up for me. Uh, when Jason went to go do some work. Jason's my husband. Went to go do some work for my parents. Uh, my mom made that. And that is it. So the cat, cat, Bruce. Oh, this is a cacti. My niece bought me some seeds in 2019. I like growing things if you haven't figured it out. And, um... They're starting to form buds. So what, 19, 20, 21, 22. So in four years, so these are four years old and they're finally starting to bloom, which is pretty neat. And these are barrel cactus. So this is my March flip through of my cousin and my weeks. Again, I do apologize for not posting anything at the end of March, but, um, with my friend's passing, uh, Bruce's medical problems, and then my own medical problems. Um, I've had a lot on my plate, and so um, I hope to post more this month, but we shall see. Um, her funeral is in a few weeks, and then I have more doctor appointments later this month. So if I don't post anything in the next couple of weeks, I will try and get something posted at the end of the month to show you what I did for April. Um, I hope you're all taking good care, having a nice time out. If you're out, it's springtime. Uh, so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if um, normally my videos are a bit more um, interesting. And I hope to get back to that someday, hopefully soon. So until then... Thanks for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.